Okay. Yeah, that was a joke. So, I just want to point out a few things, and if you, if I get into what you already said, will you tell me? Sure. All right, you notice that we just changed that hookup. Go ahead. <laughs> we just changed the hookup. Yeah. Fo follow what it is. And, and if anybody could see, that hook's wrong. We've got that hook wrong. It, if it goes, it's going to go up. You understand? Yes, we need to lower it down and change it. We're just trying to make sure that we're doing everything in the, in the rigging correctly, going as fast as we can. Um, why am I doing it this way? Because we're going to do four different demonstrations, one today, two tomorrow, and one on Friday. And we're trying to show you different things that the machine can do. Remember, we're not a crane, we're a rotator. And we're here to show you the differences between what a crane can do and what a rotator can do. The number one thing that you see is this is not only a recovery vehicle, but as we talked about earlier this morning, it's very important that this is also a tow vehicle. So we're going to do a recovery with the boom that rotates, and we're going to pull at an angle which a crane can't do. We can go faster because we're in a vehicle that doesn't have to permit to get there. We can show you the features and the benefits of the fact that you have a machine that can operate like a crane, can do things other than a crane can't do, but also can do what your tow truck does, and that's recover the casualty when it's done. So those are all very important things. Is I haven't opened my outriggers on the other side because the second and the third and maybe the fourth lane of traffic is going down the motorway. I want that open. I want that so your wife can get home and make dinner for you tonight. Okay? Also, the, auf der rechten Seite vom Fahrzeug haben wir die, die Abstürze noch nicht ausgefahren, ähm, weil wir unbedingt die, die schnellen zwei, drei weiteren Spuren offen zu lassen haben. Ähm, erstens machen, wollen wir die Polizei glücklich halten und zweitens wollen wir schauen, dass die Frauen von heute rechtzeitig heimkommen und ein Abendessen machen. So fest ist es möglich, weil die Abstützung nur auf einer Seite ausgebaut ist. Okay, now the wireless controller, well, hey, there's three guys over there, you run the record. Oh, Nick, hey. go, how you doing? I love you, please. Oh, it's hard to take all these class A down. Then I can pull on my high side. So it's low cable, high cable, low cable, high cable. And once she starts coming up and getting a meter off the ground, we know we've got it. If 20 Tonnen schwer wäre, würde sich der LKW ganz anders verhalten. Man würde sehen, dass die andere Seite von der Federung, die Federung von der LKW leichter wird, wenn man am Beigearm das Kabel einzieht. Wenn man, äh, wenn man die Hauptseile, die unteren Seile äh, versteigt, anzieht, dass sich der LKW wieder nach unten bewegt. Okay, very important. We're working with both of the cables. We're seeing the line staying tight. If a chain broke or something got loose, guys, you don't want slack in the line. You want to always make sure that you've got both lines tight, not over tight, but just tight and snug. I think I'd let a little air down on it. I think you got them aired up too much. All right. I might have to put a dollar on my wall on this one, Lee. I think I'd have that one a little further underneath the tire. I say you got it, but we'll see what happens. So we're taking the casualty on? Yeah, you're fighting at the last minute there. You cheated. I saw you. All the loads coming right up on here. We want to tighten up up on this line just in case anything let go right there. We don't have the shock. Top. Wir wollen beide Seile gleich straff halten, falls er falls er etwas passiert oder Kette nachgeht, dass der der Schockmoment in der LKW nicht mitnimmt. Notice on my chain, my half-inch alloy chain, I have no hook right here. I'm creating a complete circle. I'm maximizing the capacity of my of my chain. You can't speak that in German? Too impressive. Too impressive. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Da sieht man jetzt den Kippmoment vom Anhänger. Boom. So you can see the point with the catch bag, how easy it was. It landed right in. The controller of the wrecker is going to watch the two cables. The two cables. It's very important when you're doing this operation that you don't get one cable hanging out here while the other one's straight down. You want the cables to be even, form a perfect triangle. It's like that. So that's going to be his number one look. So he will want to have vision of not only what's going, you're starting to see that both the cables are straight right there, but he can do it from either side, from the front or the rear of the vehicle. Wir sind im Moment, die, das Fahrzeug erkennt äh, eigenständig automatisch, dass äh, in welcher Position die Seile sind. Äh, und dadurch, wenn er die Sicherheitsfaktoren an die Seile verändert, äh, wie die europäischen Directives vorgeben, äh, für Ladegräne, äh, 12.999, was die Nummer auch sein, äh, ist das beide Seile, so wie sie jetzt da hängen, sind in den Hebemodus. Das heißt, pro Seil auf einer einzelnen Linie sind 10 Tonnen. Uh, später beim Aufstellen vom Fahrzeug wird, wird das System umschalten in einen 20-Tonnen-Mode, also in einen Ziehmode. I've got the trailer starting to lift. I'm paying attention to my suspension. If the truck wanted to go down, I don't want these tires raising up. I know where I might have to go back and adjust my, my outriggers at that point in time. So it's very important that as the operator, I don't want to hurt my suspension while I'm doing my recovery. I like to have a little bit of load on the tire. Look at my bulge in there. I got load on the tire. I've got load inside with air. I've got load on the spring, and I've got load here. I'm distributing it to four different things, not one. You can do it. You're the man. I was just trying to you got the camera got you all worked up, it's, man. I'd like to the camera. Said, said, look, smile. Cheese. Okay, okay. Uh, was I gerade erklären wollte, ist, dass uh, die Vorderachse auf dem Boden bleibt. Uh, wir wollen sie nicht aufheben, um die Himmelwirkung um, zu vergrößern. Uh, dadurch, dass wir die, die Reifen auf dem Boden lassen, uh, funktioniert das auch als Standfestigkeit. So, now, as Nick starts to bring it up, once the cables start to get out, out to one angle more than the other, that's when we start rotating with the boom. So we're going to be lifting with the cable, we'll find it to the other cable, and then we're going to be rotating the boom. We will now the container on one side, and then when it is a certain neigung, we will the bag to the left and rotate now, you see where you're starting, so we want to come a little bit with the boom, rotating it to the, to the driver's side. A little bit of rotation. There you go. There you go. And tighten up with our yellow sheath. Let's take our yellow cable up just a little bit. You can see how easy the recovery boom is going, how slow the ro rotation is. It's very, very important that the rotation is go fast and be jerky. You've got 10 metric tons. If it was 20 metric tons or 30 metric tons, you don't want it to be jerky. You want it to be nice and smooth. Okay, winch up. Notice how the angles are staying very close to each other. Doing good. Doing good. I hold it right there. We're, we're pretty much at the critical point. Irv, we're in port now. The truck in idle. Pumping I mean, 600 RPMs, pumping the minimum amount of gallon flow. The wrecker has not strained or choked down the other catch line because once it comes over center, I want to control the trailer. I don't want it to get sloppy. I don't want it to jerk the recovery boom. I want it to just be nice, the transition from one cable to the next. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Winch in blue. 
All right, now you start to see where my cable's getting tied up on the yellow one, so I'm starting to get my load. Look how even the cables are. We've got good control. Starting to go over center, and he's going to just rotate with his recovery boom a little bit. Keeping those cables nice and centered up. That's just chain talk. Keine Angst. Let's go. All right, let's rotate. Nice and easy with the rotation. The bearing and the planetary motor have a winch break. If it got too much load onto one cable, it would actually break itself over to find center. Right. Now, we're just going to go put it down, and we're going to see that we've actually opened the lane in front of the rotator. So without even this, the rotator getting in another lane of traffic, he can very easily just go down on the inside, back up to the container, hook up to it with, it, with the underlift, and then go down the road.